earlier today, we had two undercover deputies here that were involved in a narcotics investigation uh, in this area. So far this year, we've had like 43 different complaints on narcotics activity in this area. So they were over here in an active investigation. While they were on the street, they actually saw two people off to the side of the road, which they thought were involved in a narcotics deal, a male and a female. So after their initial pass-through, they came back to confront those two individuals. While the two undercover deputies were out of the car, a third individual came from out of the darkness and attacked one of the undercover deputies with a large object, struck him several times to the point where the deputy had already backed up against the truck, had nowhere else to go, and the deputy had to defend himself at that point in time, fired one shot, struck the guy in the upper thigh on his leg, and that time uh, the gentleman went to the ground. The deputies administered uh, first aid, put a tourniquet on him and some CPR until the fire medics got here, and then they transported the, the uh, gentleman to the hospital. Right now, he's still in surgery. They say he's in critical condition, but uh, on all likelihood, hopefully he'll, he'll make it. So up until this point, that's what we have. We have some more investigation to do to find out who this individual is. Uh, we don't know who he is yet. We've identified the other two people that the initial investigation uh, that the deputy stopped to investigate. Uh, the deputy does have some very superficial injuries, but nothing that's going to require hospitalization. Uh, so right now they're both given uh, statements to Internal Affairs and the State Attorney's Office.